where is it when you're going to go out the following day? You can't sleep. I always do it. I don't know why. And why is it when you're going to go out and you know you're going to be walking around most of the day? Is it nice one day and then like that the next? It's not stopped raining all night. face like a cracked walnut oh well let's get out gonna meet up with some lovely friends today well I think two friends maybe one not sure yet anyway got a little bit of a drive not far I've got less distance to travel than my mates and uh I'll show you when I get there. Oh, it better be a good day today. Right, after that very early start, has my eyes cleared up yet? Ooh. I'm out with my buddy Liam from A Shot of Wildlife. So if you haven't watched his channel, I've done a video before with Liam. Have a look up the top there and I'll put our video up we did. And uh, get over and subscribe to A Shot of Wildlife, a brilliant channel. If you want to know anything about wildlife, go over and have a look at that, because he's bound to have a video on it. So we're at Cly, see I said it right, Marshes, in Norfolk, on the North Norfolk coast. And we're going to have a look around to see what we can see today. There's quite a few birdies around. I've already seen a spoonbill up the top there. We've heard things like city's warblers and bits and bobs. We've seen a marsh harrier fly over. So... I thought I'd take you along and show you what we get up to and if we see any wildlife. Let's have a walk, eh? Right, so there's a big group in the car park. We've sort of skedaddled off and got past them. But we're at Bishop's Hyde now. It's the first hide. There's the centre over there. But we're just popping in there. Just pop my head over the fence. And there is a fair bit out there. So let's get in here and have a look. So we come into this first hide and there's actually stuff out here. The last time we went on, we went on a video, if you watched that one, we went and done a video, it was like the height of summer. It was about 38 degrees. We was all sweltering. And every time we got into a hide, it was like a sweat box and we never see hardly anything apart from a load of uh, dragonflies. But out here, Right, so we've got Ever set. That's what's just flown. There's a pintail duck. Some grey leg geese. This is more like it, mate. What's that over the back, Liam? Can you see that bird there? That white bird at the back? The big one. Right, let me have a look at this because we had a spoonbill out here the other day and that looks dramatic. Yeah. That looks like one. Yeah. It is, is it? Yeah. And we've got a spoonbill. Let me get you some flipping footage of this. <laughs>
me and we're, we're so excited there's so much out there you got the Aversets, Pintails, Bartel, uh, Godwit, loads of Aversets. We've had Sets Walker, we've got the Spoonbill over there, Sandling, Shoveler, see something out of a hide. <laughs> that was brilliant in there. You don't need to go to hide and you think, flip here now, we've just got in here, but there's so much to see. Go in there for a little look and you end up in there for being, being about an hour. But the light is perfect today, really, for photography. You've got a nice diffused light coming through there. Set your custom white balance to cloudy and you get some nice, rich colours. We've got lots of stuff. Was that... Is that a bearded tit just flew over? Did you see it? I didn't see it, no. Well, we might see some bearded tits. I'm sure I've just seen two fly over. Fingers crossed. There we go. So, as a start, that's pretty good. Right, what next? Ooh. We've got a little toad. That's what I was filming Liam doing. Now, whenever you're picking up or touching toads or frogs, not so much toads, I've just moistened my hand. There you go. There's the little poison plants. That's probably last year's tadpole, that. Just moisten your hands and some water. Or don't touch them at all. But I'm a big kid. I like touching them. Let's put him back over here. There we go, mate. Off you trot. Wicked. So we was right away down there, but we saw the spoonbill fly off. Liam got it on camera flying off, but now we've come over here. This is where it's landed. So now I'm videoing the spoonbill feeding. What a touch. So we're just watching the spoonbill now feeding. I'm gonna put the footage up for you over the top of me talking. But they're fantastic, they've got this spatula tuck shaped bill on the end that's really sensitive. And they sweep it through the water and catch like small aquatic snails and crustaceans. Very sensitive, so as soon as they feel something on their bill, they'll snap it shut. But out here we've got grey leg geese and also we've got lapwings that you might hear through this video. But this is fantastic watching this feed. Absolutely brilliant. Great little geese ain't happy. But look, this is where it is at here. What a day. Absolutely fantastic, mate, isn't it? Flipping out in the first hour we've had a result. I mean, to have a spoonbill feeding like that in front of us where we can video it is a bit special. Absolutely fantastic. Onward and upwards? Yes, continue. Just hiding out the wind here a little bit, we've just got a nice little gaggle of mute swans over there. They look like last year's young, they've got very pale bills. Also, when we were walking along, we've just had a, a water rail fly out and go down this bank, so we're keeping our eye out for that. Just had a little egret land right over the back there. There's so much out here, we've got a couple of lapwings, the grey leg geese, beautiful here today. Oh, we've got some Avocet over there. There's just so much here. Happy days. The wind's picked up a little bit. So, and this part here behind us is where I've seen the bearded tits fleetingly. I've never really had a really good view in, but this is where they usually are. But they don't like the wind. But you'll hear them before you see them, which is another 
good thing to do is to learn your bird calls. But we're going to go up there and there's a hide up there. We're going to go and it's just started spitting, so we're going to go and plonk our bums on the seat in there and see what we can see. You good so far? Happy days, guys. Go on, Liam, say it for us. What? Happy days. Happy days. Yeah, we go. <laughs> Happy days. So we haven't even made it another hundred yards up this trail. Just getting some footage of this little egret for you. You can see what he's doing with his feet. It's dabbling in its feet in the mud to stir up crustaceans and little bits and pieces, and then it'll go down this bill and catch him. See that like, little feather on the back of his head? Absolutely beautiful. I've seen the great heron over here today, but I have photographed the great heron over here, and that's massive. Big white job. What's that? A pair of avocets. Yeah, beautiful. It's good to watch that, isn't it? Let's see what else we can see. Is that? Did you hear a beardy? Oh. No, that's a bit of reed. Might be worth just standing there for five minutes, just staring out into oblivion into this reed bed, just to see if we can see one. So we're at the top of that. Right there. Just walked all the way down here. And we're in this little hide. buggers. I'm just videoing a curly that just took off and landed. Oh, I'll be a bit shaky for you because it's really windy now. Yeah? We give up on the beardy tips because they were just teasing us. Good day so far. Enjoying birding with me? It's lovely, isn't it? What a lovely hobby. Just get yourself a little pair of binoculars and go have that. Look out your window. Get some bird feeders up. But we just walked all the way down from that woodland, as you can see up there, and there's some herons and uh, little egrets nesting in that woodland. So I'm going to have to investigate that while I'm here. But we're going to walk down this shingle bank now. There's Liam. So we are camping. Oh, you're right over there where the military collection is. That's where the campsite is. But we've walked all the way down here onto this rather pebbly beach. And this is what this part of the coast is like. That's why there's so many military defences down here, because that drops off rapidly, right? A couple of hundred feet out, so you can get big vessels right up to the beach here. But look at these stones. I've found all sorts of I've found fossils on here. But we're going to walk right away down there and do a big loop and then come back down to the other hides and see what we can see there. But, so far, it's been brilliant. Have a right laugh. Good stuff. See you in a moment. So Liam's just doing a bit of b-roll. We're going down to this wind hide here. It's not a full hide, it's got no roof on it. But we just had a marsh area come through. I think it was a male marsh area. Fly through, yeah it was. And I got some photographs of it and a little bit of footage. So that was nice. I was just mentioning up there, we see one when we got out of the car, which is right over there, there, right over there where we parked. But not seen one since we walked all the way round here. Oh, we're dropping down out of the wind now, lovely. And then, just as we got to this wind hide, Liam said, oh, you probably see a marsh area over here, and one just come floating past. Very nice. Very nice. I'm just going to go up here now and have a little look in this hide. So 
So this is that wind hide. It's a little shelving from. Looks like they've done a load of work here. Looks like they've dragged this scrape out more. You can see that where all the mud is around the edge there. And that looks like that's reasonably done. That's nice. I wonder if they're going to put another hide here because this would be a nice spot for a hide on that scrape and it goes all the way around there. Look. I'm sure that's new. That's a white mate. <laughs> it's a, no, you're right. Liam's to see a pipit, so if you want to see that, go and see Liam's video he's doing today. But we're st standing in this little gorse patch here, and Liam notified me that there was a stone chat sitting on a bush. Liam's on his way over there, I'll stay out of the way. And um, so little spots like this, you'll get things land on these posts. So they've got a table here, so if you sit on a table, and wait, this is an ideal vantage point for a lot of the birds around here because there's not a lot of high bushes if you look around here. There's not a lot of high bushes they can sit on. So they'll use these posts and this gorse as a vantage point. If you don't like gruesome things, look away now. But we've just found on the beach a seal that's passed away, and it's pretty gruesome. But I'm going to show you anyway because I'm interested. Look at that. So that is now harbouring, that's feeding loads of other wildlife. Oh, we've got skylarks. Skylarks flying about. But look at that. I'm not going to get too close because it'll freak you, creep you out, but. It's amazing, isn't it? The size of that poor old sausage. But the old crows and that have been feeding on him. I have to remember that. There's no doubt Raven will come over here and roll in it. Yeah, things you find, eh? Right, I hope the wind's not too bad. We're going out on the beach now. But behind me, I'll take some video of it. It's a flock of Brent, Brent geese. Beautiful little goose, really nice. But amongst it is a red-breasted goose, which is quite a rarity. You find sometimes that flocks of geese, when they travel in, will pick up a straggler from somewhere else. So sometimes um, grey leg geese will pick up a white-fronted goose and it'll be amongst the grey legs. So I'm going to see if I can scan across these, these geese and see if I can find the red-breasted goose for you. Let's have a look. Right, so we've got the red-breasted goose over there. It's right in the sort of middle of the flock of brank geese. I'm going to put this footage up for you now. But it's so pretty. It's really, really nice. It's the first time I've seen one of these, so happy flipping days. So we're not even back at the hides yet, and we've had a flipping stonking day already. And we're happy. I've seen a, seen a bird I've never seen before. But I'll get some more footage of this. Liam's rubbing his legs as well. There he is, look. Oh. But apparently Liam's telling me that this bird's been about a lot in this flock. It's been here all winter, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. It's been here all winter in this flock of Brent, so well happy with that. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this bit of footage and a couple of photographs if I can get some decent ones. Thank you.
Right, so that's where the Brent and the red-breasted goose is over there. And we've come up the top, right near these. There's the old lobster pots here. Mm, lobsters. And we're walking, <laughs> let him throw it away. So we're walking right away down here now, back towards the center, because there's three hides located right where I'm pointing. And as you can see, it's started to rain. So we're gonna head for the hides and hide. So true to form, we've just walked all the way down from right over there, that little red roof building, all the way down there. And when we got to there, it started raining and it rained all the way down there, all the way around there, until we got to here, where the hides were about 150 metres from us, and it stopped raining. Happy days. So we're going to go and have a sit in these hides now, walking down this ball walk. They're doing a lot of renovations on these ball walks, they do keep on top of it. Uh, you've got these passing places, so if you're in a disability scooter, you can get past people. But we're going to go and sit in these beautiful thatched hides now. I love these. And apparently there's quite a rarity out there, so we can see if we've seen that. We might see it, you never know. Let's go and have a look. hide at the moment, till hide. Just met a chap, Jim's Norfolk Wildlife. Really nice chap. Just having a chat with him. He's got an Instagram account, so if you want any Norfolk wildlifey stuff on Instagram, Jim's Norfolk Wildlife. So these are the uh, hides. These beautiful hey mate you're right. These beautiful thatched hides. This one's Adverset Hide. We're going to go back in that one in a little while. There's a big group in there. This one's Dork's Hide. It's starting to drizzle now, it's that mizzle. So we've seen so much today, it's been really good. Had some really good light earlier on. Got some really nice photographs. But I think we're going to go and sit in that one in a minute. I'll take you back in that hide and show you in there. Right, so this is inside this hide. And we're hiding from the rain because it's just started to uh, drizzle it down. But that 
little noise you can hear is a teal. Pretty little duck. Look at that, oh, here comes the rain. But that, there's a dull witcher up there. Which is like a small wading bird with like yellow legs. Which has been a bit elusive, but we think we might have even seen it when we first got here and took photographs of it and didn't realise. But we're going to have a little look. Probably not, but you never know what you find when you go looking for your photographs. But this rain looks like it's in now. It's sheeting across. Proper rain in there, mate. Look at that. Yeah. Get your wet rain. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're in the right place. Yeah. Right. Just done those hides and we've decided to come back to the centre and pick a free coffee up. When you get when you pay at this car park, you keep one of your tickets and it provides you with a free coffee. So we're gonna go and get that now. It's looking a bit ominous over there. But we're gonna go and see if we can make a plan. And then we'll be back. So we're in the centre, just got myself a coffee and uh, as you know I'm on a, a low carb diet. You're not telling them about the cake? Yeah, but your cake, look, I'm on a low carb diet, he went, do you mind if I get a bit of cake? Look oh, at on, that! Look at that. <laughs> oh. Bugger! <laughs> now Liam's just gone to the toilet, I thought oh, I'll nip up here and have a look in close by. See if I can uh, I'll climb by. See if I can have a look at binoculars. It's flipping shut off, three. Right? Look at this roof on here, look. Living roof. That's stunning, isn't it? She's such a lovely visitor centre. If you've never been here before, you've got to go and have a look here. And there's a big observatory there that goes into the cafe, and you can see right the way across them marshes there. All them reed beds, it's all ever set out now. It's absolutely cracking. <laughs> Pheasant. So, let's get back down and go and find Liam. Finish this one off here. We've had a flipping lovely day. We've seen how many species do you reckon? Got to be 50 odd species. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe. Got to be. We've got Somewhere some now. Cracking shots, I mean. Absolutely. You've been rattling them off now, you got your, <laughs> got your camera on semi automatic. Yeah. So, yeah, had a really good day. I hope you enjoyed that video and the footage, video footage and photographs. And uh, for now, get over and subscribe to our Liam at A Shot of Wildlife. You'll love his channel, guarantee it. Some of you are probably already subscribed, you probably already know him. And sorry darling, one second. Anyway, sorry about that, someone just interrupted us. Anyway, so get over and talk to Liam, I've completely forgot where I was, but get over and follow Liam, and I'll leave all the details for his videos below and his channel. And I'll see you in the next one. And from us two, stay safe, stay sane. Look after yourself. And keep enjoying the wonders of nature where you are. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Graham. <laughs> anyway, you take care and we'll see you soon. We might even get another one out while I'm down here because I'm staying for longer because I love Norfolk. Happy Let's days. Do it. You can't get rid of me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers. See you soon. Bye. We're doing a video. Perfectly. No, we're just doing a video. No, no, we, no, we no. have been. We've just been walking around <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it?